In today's play breakdown, we're going to give you a sample play from my new Madden 18 offensive ebook. The offensive ebook can be purchased in the description below, and you can also get a combo deal where you're going to get our offense and our defensive ebooks together. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time checking out my channel, I want to encourage you to leave a comment on this video. Let me know how did you find the channel, and secondly, what is one thing that I can help you with in Madden 18? What is one problem that you're having with the game? That way I can learn what kind of videos I can make to best help you guys. All right, guys, so we're looking at Madden 18, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to give you a sample play, a sample uh, little dose here of something that you can expect from our Madden 18 offensive ebook. And this is a nice little play. I call it a constraint theory play. This is something that you can use um, it, throughout throughout the season, throughout the year, in your offense. It's going to give you a little change of pace. So we're going to break down the play verticals for you today from the Pittsburgh Steelers offensive playbook. That's what our guide is in. And again, our offensive guide can be purchased by clicking the link in the description below. All right, so this is a play specifically designed for off coverage. If the corners are back, this, this play works great. So what you want to do is you want to take your tight end. You want to place him on a zig. You then want to take your running back. You want to put him on an option route. Then you want to smart route, out route your far LOS or your far right of screen player. I like to run the bunch flipped if you're going to run it. What's going to happen is you're going to motion does to the left. You're going to let him set up. And if it is zone coverage, you're going to be able to hit Dez unless it's a cover two, unless it's a cover two. So uh, if it's zone coverage, cover three, if it's zone coverage, cover four, you're going to be able to hit Dez Bryant uh, pretty much as much as you want. I mean, he gets open very consistently for me in zone coverage specifically. Now, man, he's not going to get as open, but when they're in a zone, you can really hit this route um, right there. That's because they put a hard flat out there. If they put like a cover three and the safety comes out, then you're not going to be able to hit it as well. You kind of what you can do in those situations, though, is you're going to be able to hit your um, you're going to be able to hit your tight end. Let me show you this one more time. So it can high point pass lead it and he can get up and catch that if you want to. But anyways, um, then if they go man to man, so say they go off man, which very rarely do you see. The only times you really see it is if they are in a cover zero blitz from time to time, you'll see it. And that motion out really does a good job at changing the alignment, forces the defense to adapt to it. So anyways, you're just going to no pass lead. You're going to throw the out and then you're going to spin him back inside. So you do that by holding left trigger. Once you catch the ball, you do that by holding left trigger. Okay. And then you're going to rotate your right stick. So you're going to hold left trigger and you're going to rotate your right stick from about three o'clock all the way back across to about nine o'clock. So you're just going to do a quick little rotation of the right stick. And I'm telling you right now, this play is going to be money for you um, against cover zero. They're going to wish they never ran cover zero, no pass lead, and then come back, hold left trigger and flip it around. A lot of times you're going to get a broken tackle and you're going to go to the house. I just, I find this to be one of the best plays in the game for playing against off coverage defenses. This it, it play just works really, really well. Um, the routes really work well together and they work well off of one another from the, all the other plays from the playbook. So you can add this to your arsenal if you're wanting to add it. Um, worst case scenario is if they run cover two and for whatever reason, the corner, the corner might be backed off. They're trying to, you know, they might be trying to disguise. So here's what you can do in that situation. This is why we put the tight end on the out route. What's going to happen is the tight end is going to be wide open and he's going to have a lead blocker. We, we normally, I'm sorry, we normally put him on a zig. So I got that wrong. Let me fix that. So verticals, put the tight end on a zig. Terrence Williams is on his smart route out route. I like to put a Zeke on an option pattern because it's going to help if, if, if these routes on the left side are closed off, Cole Beasley will come open. So here's the cover two. Oh, they screwed up. Well, my Zig's going to get wide open underneath. And oftentimes what will even happen in this year's game specifically with Tampa two is the route to Dez will actually get open deep. Um, if you wait a little bit long, a little bit. So just pass lead to the corner. There I was. I threw it a little bit too early. But again, Jason Witten's route was wide open on that play. So that's where what will and, you know ultimately happen is they'll start having to run hard flat. So let me show you something real quick with this too. So like cover three, their solution is going to be to run a hard flat over there on that side. Well, if they do that, if they run a hard flat, here's what you can do. You can actually throw this route a little bit late, kind of like you would a, a cover two, and you can hit him in the back there. That was because he was pressed up. But if they go... 
if they go traditional cover three Mabel alignment, what you'll see happen, let me, I'm just kind of, you know, spitballing here with you, giving you a little bit of depth on this play. You can actually hit this route to Dez on the sideline, kind of almost like a back shoulder. Right there is that, and you want to possession catch that. So you can do that if they go hard flat, if that safety comes down in the window. If he doesn't, then if, say they play over the top coverage, well, what's going to happen then in that situation is you're going to still be able to hit Dez. Um, so here we'll go. You'll just hit him right there, and it's still wide open. Okay, so that's how you want to use this play. In my opinion, this is the best play against off coverage in Madden 18. So I wanted to share this with you. This is a sample of a breakdown that you're going to get in our Madden 18 offensive guide. You can get that right now by following the link in the description below. And you can get that again if you want to get our combo guide, which is our offense and defense together. You can get that as well. And a link is in the description of this video. So hopefully you enjoy the guides, you enjoy the books, and they are well worth it. I truly believe these guides will not only help you in this year's Madden, but they will help you in the years to come. Because we teach you not just how to make a scheme this year, how to make a scheme every single year. So this truly is a good investment if you plan on playing competitively in Madden this season. Thank you guys for watching this video. And again, for those of you guys, if you're just stumbling upon the channel, do me a favor and leave me a comment and let me know. We have a ton of free content on our channel already, so you can go check that out. But what I really want to know from you is how did you find my channel and what is something that I can help you with in Madden?